All right, let's talk about brushes briefly. I've done this in some of my other videos, but sometimes they're hard to find. And uh, so I embed them in other painting videos and then people can't find them. I think what I'll do is uh, create a video, a short video just on brushes and that way people can find it easier. Let's talk about detail brushes first. I used to use low Cornell 7020 ultra round synthetic brush. Those have been discontinued. Uh, so I happen to have a few remaining new ones that I've had for a long time. But as substitute for that, I really recommend this James Company Ultra Point. They don't pay me to say that. I've just found it to be a, a good replacement for the low Cornell. And the James Company has told me they use the same company to produce these that used to produce them for low Cornell. I assume that's true. That's what they told me. And I've found that the quality is very similar. They point up really nice. They're durable and uh, they hold a lot of paint. I like the number four. So I do vermiculation with this, all my detail work with the number four James Company. Another alternative to the James Company is a premium number four ultra gold King Art brush. That's a 9020-4 max round. That's a good brush too. If I had to pick between the two, I like the James Company. It just seems to hold a point longer. And uh, now let's move on to scrubbing. The question I had was, do I modify my brushes? Could we get some close-ups of the brushes that I use? I've got three different brands here. They're all very similar. This is a Royal Crafter's Choice, 3 8 inch. Uh, I'm calling this a chisel shape, just for lack of a better word. So if you hear me say that, it's this angular shape. This is a 3 8 inch. These are all golden Taclon bristle. It's a synthetic bristle that really holds up well uh, to the painting that I do in terms of scrubbing. So here's a, a slightly smaller chisel shape, one quarter inch. This is a, an even smaller one eighth inch Royal Crafter's Choice. And you can see this used to be a chisel shape like these, one eighth inch wide, but it's worn to the point where it's almost rounded. Still a good brush and I still use this type of brush for very detailed scrubbing. Um, but the 1 8 inch chisel shape is kind of my go-to brush for detailed scrubbing. This is a filbert shape, these two, and this is another company. This is Craftsmart, very similar. Uh, so I use Craftsmart brushes, and this is Crafter's Choice. So three different brands you can take a look at. Uh, and then this is just the uh, a, a nice wide brush for applying base coats. So I don't modify these brushes. Uh, I do continue to use them as they wear. They can tend to even be better as they wear. What I like about these particular brushes is the length of the bristle. They they're, tend to be shorter and stiffer. And I like that for scrubbing. If if the bristle is too long, it's hard to control. And you're smearing paint around rather than a good stiff bristle that is going to scrub paint onto your decoy. So a good quick summary of the types of brushes I use. Hopefully that's helpful. I've got probably 10 of these that I've worn out, but I keep them like I said, for detailed scrubbing, and then just keep renewing them. They, they last a long time. 